Hi there, my name is Miss Kelly. I am a virtual content specialist for social studies grades three through five. And part of my job is to help your teachers as they create virtual lessons to teach you this year. And today I'm going to show you in this video how you can create an account on Newzella. What is Newzella? Newzella is a website that has fun and interesting articles that you can read. They have articles about lots of different subject areas. On this website, you might sign in to read a particular article that your teacher has assigned, or you might even just sign in in your spare time to do some nonfiction reading about subject areas that are interesting to you. So let's go ahead and learn how to start an account so that you can start using this really wonderful website. Here are the steps you're going to take to create a Newzella account. First, we'll go to newzella.com. Then we will create our account. Then we will join your teacher's class. You can do this a few ways. You might use the class code that your teacher provides, or you might sign in using your school email. Finally, you'll look for your assignments. So let's head on over to the Newzella website so that we can create an account. So there are a few different ways you will find this website. The first thing you might do is just go to the Google search and search Newzella, N-E-W-S-E-L-A. And when you search that on Google, it will be the first option that comes up. Here's what the homepage looks like. Another way that you can find this resource is just by going to newzella.com. That's N-E-W-S-E-L-A dot com. Both will get you to this homepage. Now let's talk about how we can create an account. You're going to want to go up to the upper right hand corner where it says join now. Go ahead and click that button. It will bring you to this page. It says, let's get started. What's your role? Student, K through 12 teacher, K through 12 school administrator, parent, tutor, or caregiver. In this case, you are a student. So you're gonna to wanna to click the first option with the blue background that says student. Now, this is where you'll have the opportunity to enter in a class code if your teacher gave you one. That would be my teacher's class code. However, you can join your teacher's class without a class code. Maybe your teacher joined with her Google Classroom account. If he did this, then you would just go here and click, in, click sign in with Google. And when you click here, you would just be able to click your email, the one that's associated with your Google Classroom account, and you'll log right in and you'll be automatically attached. But let's say that you wanna join using a class code. That's fine too. You'll enter the class code right here and you'll click next. Just make sure that you check in with your teacher to see how they would like you to join, either with a class code or by clicking sign in with Google and signing in with your Google account that you got through your school. So when you add the class code, you'll click next. This brings you to a couple of options. You can click sign in with Google, you can sign up with Microsoft, or you can sign in with Clever or you can just create your account right here. I like to recommend signing in with Google. That way you never have to worry about forgetting your password. You can always click sign in with Google, click your email and it logs you right in. But you can also create an account by adding in your first, last name, email, a password that you'll remember and the country that you're from. Make sure that you're with a parent or guardian as you're creating this account because you don't wanna create any online accounts without their permission and guidance.
so let's say you created an account with a username and password. You can just use that to log in each time by putting in the username and the password you created. Or if you created an account with Google, you will just click the Google icon each time to sign in. I'm not going to show you how to create an account with Microsoft or Clever because you don't need to know how to do that at this time. So to access the website, you'll click sign in. And it will bring you to a home page that looks like this. Now on this home page, they always have the latest news and content right there. So you can actually see what's going on in our world right now and read articles about it. All you have to do is click on the title and you'll be able to read that article. When you log in, you might find something that looks interesting to you that you would like to check out. But if you logged in because your teacher gave you a specific assignment, then you're gonna to wanna to go up here to this toolbar on the upper left-hand side and look for where it says assignments. You'll click that. And when you click that page, you'll see what assignments your teacher has assigned to you. In this case, there are no assignments in the last seven days. In my next video, I'm gonna show you how to complete an assignment. But you can also find your older assignments right here. And if there is a new icon, that means it's an article you have not clicked on. You'll go ahead and click that, the title of that article to find the article your teacher wants you to read. So in this video, I showed you how to create an account and log in to Newzella and then I started to show you how to find an assignment. Come back for my next video, because in my next video, I'm going to show you how to comp complete an assignment that your teacher has assigned for you. So Newzella is such an awesome website and it makes learning about social studies fun. You might use Newzella to read an article that your teacher assigned to you, you might even use Newzella to do some extra reading on social studies contents. Or you might use Newzella to do some fun current event reading in your spare time. I hope that this video was helpful and that you were able to create a Newzella account so that you can start reading. Again, I'm having another video that will be posted and make sure you come back for that video so that you can learn how to complete an assignment.